Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another weekly edition of our Horizon Hobby Thursday Thunder. I am Kyle Roberts here, again, joined with Ali, and we have something uh, pretty big again here to talk about. What, what do we got sitting here in front of us? Kyle, hi. This is the new Hangar 9 uh, 20cc P47 Thunderbolt. Awesome. I've seen the, the teasers here and there. I'm assuming that's what this is for. So, uh, as you can see, uh, like you said, Hangar 9, so we're expecting... Uh, we're not talking about foam here, correct? No, this is uh, all wood, balsa and plywood construction, then covered in a film. And unlike a lot of our other Hangar 9 uh, airplanes previously, this one's covered in a printed covering, not ultra coat. Um, what that means is we can get a satin finish with all of these panel lines mm -hmm. that would be on the full scale already printed on. Awesome. And and what, so the people that are watching, what, what is our exact size of wingspan, motor, things of that? 67 inches wingspan, um, weighs around about 18 pounds all up and running. Um, it's designed around various power plants really, but we have a couple of um, generic power plants that we specify and sell, which is the Evolution 20cc gas motor, single cylinder petrol motor. Um, we also have the E-Flight Power 60 electric option running on 6S. Um, and both of those give a similar type performance. Uh, we've also outfitted one of the demo planes with a Sato four-stroke gas single cylinder as well. So it gives you an idea. There's, cool. Although we specify certain power packages, it is versatile in what it will take. Awesome, awesome. And uh, th this is, there's a multiple things in this video, so don't, uh, don't go away yet if this isn't something that excites you. Is there, are there any other like key... Uh, key things that we're bringing to the table here that are brand new or what kind of... Uh... It's actually based on a, an existing product. We did do a 20cc P47 before some years ago. We did in fact a whole range of 20cc warbirds at one point. Um, unfortunately they had to go away because one of our vendors actually stopped producing aircraft so that, that caused us to have no 20cc warbirds. This is the first in what will hopefully be a series of 20cc awesome. size um, Warbird type aircraft. Um, as far as feature sets concerned, two piece wing, slide on, assembly without tools, which is nice. So at the field, you don't have to mess around with tools. Really big top hatch, um, gives you loads of access to the inside. Perfect. So for those people, particularly the electric flight um, setups, you can drop a 6S pack anywhere from 5,000 to 7,000 milliamps in there quite happily. Flight times we found to be anywhere in the region of six to nine minutes. So I've got a nine minute flight with the 7,000 milliamp 6S. Standard servos, so nothing particularly fancy on the servo front. You don't need mega yeah. high torque, you know, hundred dollar servos. Right. Um, like I said, the standard power package. As out of the box, it comes with fixed gear, so we, it's fixed undercarriage, no retracts. It is set up for retracts to be dropped straight in, so there's no modification required. Awesome. But what's nice is the fact that to have a fixed gear option is available out of the box. We even supply the sprung metal oleo legs. They come as a standard with a kit. So for those people that maybe want to start off with fixed gear um, and then move on to retracts later, they can. And again, for those people that want to start off maybe with their first big wood scale aircraft or warbird, the P-47 is ideal. It's got massive wing, huge area, long tail moment arm. In my opinion, it's probably the easiest warbird to fly. Perfect. And I think you got, uh, you kind of jumped my next question was what's going to come with it. So I know that kind of the big question is always what, what's the price? What are we looking at? Uh, 379 is the map on this. Okay. Um, as far as what comes with it, it's the same as pretty much all of the other Hangar hang 9 aircraft. It, uh, unlike our foam aircraft, it, they don't come plug and play or bind right. and fly. But what you get is the airframe, um, a whole bunch of scale options, stuff like the antenna, which is removable, the exhaust stacks, um, sorry, the exhaust outlets, uh, the scoops and various bits and pieces, a scale cockpit, which is already fitted, scale pilot, which is already painted. You just put that in and go straight from the get-go. So scale size wheels, four inch wheels come as standard. Three different nose arts, um, so you have some ability to personalize your warbird. Cool. You're not all having the same uh, <laughs> P47 when you turn up right. to the field. So yeah, we've got three different nose arts with the corresponding tail numbers and registrations to go with those, Very so you cool. have a little bit of individuality. Um, the tail gear is fixed um, from the box, so it doesn't retract, but I have set it up in there that for those that want to modify it and make it um, retractable, you can without having to do any structural work. So the mounts are in there to drop what we have as an E-Flight 15 size nose gear unit. You can put that in and have a retracting tail wheel if you want as well. Very cool. Well, I think uh, anything else, uh, nothing's jumping out to me, but I encourage everyone to, to go on the uh, Horizon Hobby website and check this out. Obviously, we'll be putting up uh, things uh, 
all week uh, once we're at out at AMA here. Yeah. Uh, I know a bunch of you guys are, are heading out there and out there right now. So uh, make sure you check that out. And also, we have a product video that we are going to loop to now. So, Ali, thanks again. Pleasure. And uh, stay tuned. There's more to come after the video. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed that. Welcome back here for our, we got our second plane sitting here in front of us. Uh, I'm joined by Chris and what do we have sitting here in front of us? Uh, this is the new E-Flight Clipped Wing Cub. Uh, standard 3S uh, power systems that we've used a lot in the past. So a lot of stuff that everybody already has. So very aerobatic, a lot of fun, a lot of uh, cool new features. Uh, a couple of which are toolless assembly. So the wing comes off one piece single wing bolt, a couple clips on the bottom, and when the uh, wing is off, the struts just clip right into place so you can 
travel with uh, without worry about damaging the struts. Awesome. Uh, nice big hatch. So just a classic Cub uh, design, but clipped wing, so it's uh, very aerobatic, a lot of fun. Perfect. And what comes, uh, so when someone grabs this, what actually comes in the box? Uh, we have it as bind and fly, which comes with a 636 receiver that has uh, AS3X and safe. Okay. And then we have it as a plug and play, which is everything except the receiver. So motor, servos, speed control, everything's already installed. Perfect, perfect. And then you guys also check this out on horizonhobby.com. And uh, is there anything else we want to talk about with this plane before we jump to a video? Uh, we can show that the... Uh, Got a nice big hatch and just lift it up by the uh, motor, so plenty of room okay. for a battery. And then also has functioning landing gear to absorb those not so perfect landings. <laughs> cool, cool deal. So other than that, it's pretty simple: no flaps, no retracts. Uh, basic uh, four-channel airplane, pretty much. Cool. All right. Well, we will jump over to our product video now. And remember, we still have two more planes, so stay stay tuned in and hang in there. We are back here, and we've miraculously changed to another plane. I am now joined by Matt here, and Matt, I see we have the F-27 sitting here. Let's let's yeah. talk about this a little bit. So uh, many uh, customers are familiar with the F-27. We've had uh, strikers out basically since about 2005-ish, I think, when we first announced the original brushed nickel metal hydride uh, powered F-27. So this has been a evolution, as you can so see by the name, yeah. the F-27 Evolution. So we've done some things to this to kind of make it a little bit more modern, give it more performance, and just make it a much funner platform to fly with. Awesome, awesome. And I know you had all kinds of, you were showing us all the cool stuff here, so you want to run through and kind of show people the features and what's yeah. going on with Yeah, them. absolutely. So the uh, the first one is a, an optional feature that you can purchase separately, and that's the uh, FPV nose with the VTX camera in it. Um, basically, it's a quarter turn. You can pop off the 
non-FPV nose, and then mm -hmm. this just quarter turns on, locks it in place, so you can go from non-FP to FPV in seconds, and then you just run the lead back and plug it into the receiver for power, and you're good to go. Very cool. Very cool. The other thing that jumped out to me just kind of looking over everything is the speed that this thing is capable of. Too. Right. Uh, we actually <laughs> did, uh, did a little bit. It's got a 40 amp controller in it. Uh, we did a lot of testing on both three and four cell batteries. So we recommend like a three cell 2200, something that everybody's got laying around. And then we also recommend the 1800 4S battery. And on 4S, it'll push it just over 100 miles an hour. That's awesome. And I would imagine with that speed, there's some uh, additional uh, safety stuff built in to some extent. Um, a little bit. I mean, the, the, the nice thing about this airplane is it does does have AS3X in the Bonfly Basic right. version, and it has Safe Select, and that's a really huge benefit on this airplane. It allows for pitch and bank leveling, so mm -hmm. you can't get in a bad situation. Um, also, really helps with hand launch and landing. If you will, uh, check out the product video, you'll see me doing basically a hands-off hand launch, and then a hands-off landing where I'm literally not touching any control on the airplane. Pretty much lands right at my feet. Perfect. That's very cool. Very cool. Anything else that we need to highlight here before we jump to that product video? Sure. Uh, the other really cool thing about this airplane is, you know, the F-27 has typically been a pretty large airplane. Um, you know, not the easiest to transport, but we did a couple things which are pretty nice here. So we have a toolless wing fit, so you can pop the wing off really easily. And then the fins also pop off with little clips. And you can actually fit the wing tubes back into the hatch so you don't lose them going to the field. Don't forget them at home or anything like that. So you can really break this airplane down quite small. Awesome. And uh, easy to transport, easy to store. Cool. Cool deal. Well, like I said, again, jump to HorizonHobby.com, check out this plane, and we are going to jump over to that product video now. And after that, we have one more plane to feature. So stay, hang in there, stay there. We got more excitement coming up.
are back still with Matt, and uh, we have a, another plane here, the final one we are talking about today, and this is the F4F. Let's talk about this one a little bit. So, a lot of people remember this airplane as well. Uh, this one has been kind of a cult classic in Park Sun. Uh, you know, due to its simplicity and the way it flew, people just really gravitated, gravitated toward this airplane. You know, there was no complexity to it. There was no worrying about landing or anything. You could fly off rough fields, and it was just a great flying airplane. Um, so we decided to bring it back and uh, do a couple little things to it that uh, that bring it up a little bit a little bit more than it was. Sure. Um, so we're, it's available in a bind and fly basic version with safe select, so you can actually have the same bank leveling, pitch leveling, make hand launch and belly land super super easy. Basically, take away any of the fear of uh, flying Good. this airplane. Um, you know, again with its belly land, it's very there's nothing to catch on the bottom. You can see we've actually landed this one a couple times out yeah. in the grass. This is the airplane we used in the video. And uh, it's got a large top hatch here, pop off, and fits anything from a 1300 to a 2200 three cell battery. Cool. Um, pretty much exact same components other than the receiver from the original Park Zone uh, F4F Wildcat. Awesome. And uh, to cap everything off, um, is there a certain price point we're looking at for this one at all? Uh, yeah, we have a, basically a plug and play version and a bind and fly basic, like I mentioned. Okay. Um, I believe the uh, plug and play is 179 and the bind and fly basic is 199 so. Okay, perfect. Well, again, for the last time, make sure you swing over to HorizonHobby.com and check this plane out. Also, remember, you can uh, get double points when you pre-order these for the Horizon RC Club. And uh, make sure you tune in every Thursday, same time, same place as always. Subscribe to YouTube. And uh, hopefully you stayed with us this whole time. And uh, thank you, guys. We'll see you next time.